These are some of the landless families in the village. It is a segment of the population who struggle against hunger, poverty, and many forms of social exploitation until death. During the lean season, they go without many meals. They are out of the orbit of the prevailing banking system because they cannot provide any collateral to borrow money from commercial banks. The landless make up almost half of the population of Bangladesh. Green Bank, as a financial institution, aims to alleviate poverty of the bottom poor. Its main aim is to bring the landless and assetless poor people of the village under an organizational framework giving them access to small loans with easy terms on a regular basis. The primary and most vital unit of this organizational framework is the group. Poor people need not come to the bank. Rather, the bank will come to them. The group formation process begins with this straightforward message. The center manager explains to the village poor what Grameen is all about. He will give all the details about Grameen Bank, its procedures and rules. He will organize a meeting of all the landless women. I went from house to house. I've informed everyone. They all will come. Mini meeting. This is the informal meeting with the members who are willing to form a group. In this meeting, the branch manager is present along with the center manager. Today I've come here to meet you all for the first time. Your appa went to your house earlier and has told you about Grameen Bank. As far as possible, I'll give you more details about the bank. Before that, we must first introduce ourselves. I am Mohammed Jabed Ali. I am the manager of this bank. My name is Azra Parveen, center manager of this bank. The poor women now get acquainted with Grameen Bank and its staff for the first time. There is lots of initial shyness, curiosity, and even apprehension amongst the villagers. Other banks do their business by taking collateral, because banks are for the rich people. These banks are for those who have lots of money. They borrow money against collateral. But the Grameen Bank that we or you will have, there will be no need for collateral. Because you are poor, you don't even have the ability to give any collateral against a loan from the bank. We shall have a full discussion about all the rules and regulations so that they become very clear to everyone. According to the rules of the bank, we continue this meeting for seven days. This is called the continuous meeting. Grameen Bank, a bank for the poor, owned by the poor. It is a bank that does not require any collateral. The primary principle is that the poor people don't need to come to the bank. Instead, the bank will go to them. After the mini-meeting, the center manager visits all the households once again to encourage the landless women to form their groups. She encourages them so that they can overcome their apprehension. The center manager closely examines those who have decided to form groups. To be eligible for membership in a group, a person must be landless and assetless, a close neighbor to other members, a permanent resident of the village, like-minded, 
of similar age and educational status with other group members, and five persons who are not of blood relations coming from five different households must be in a group. <laughs> Landless. Only a member of the household that owns less than 50 decimals of cultivable land will be treated as a landless person. 50 decimals of cultivable land is the maximum amount of land ownership allowed to become a Grameen Group member. But those who are absolutely landless will get priority while forming a group. Asset list. Any member of a household whose total assets do not exceed the value of one acre of medium quality single cropped land in that area will be treated as an assetless person. But those who are absolutely assetless will get priority when forming a group. <laughs> At this point, the center manager, after discussion with the members who are interested in forming groups, decides on the date, time, and place for the continuous meeting. Continuous meeting. The training for group formation is called the continuous meeting. This meeting will be conducted for seven continuous days at a fixed time and fixed place. It will provide training on discipline. It will teach group members how to write their names, give instructions on 16 decisions of Grameen Bank. It will ensure the members will deposit their personal savings. It will provide training on how to elect the group chairperson and group secretary. It will also explain the topics of the training course. Today you all look very nice because you are all sitting in groups. It's good some of you have come in a group. But those who couldn't form groups still have an opportunity. You may rearrange your groups. In a group there will be five members from five households. There will be no blood relations among them. That means your mother, daughter, aunt or such relatives are not allowed to be in the same group as yourself. Next, the group members should come from similar economic conditions. Of the five members, there will be a group chairperson and group secretary. To compare the performance during your seven days continuous meeting, you may change your group chairperson and secretary. You may elect for one year whoever you consider to be a more capable group chairperson. Responsibilities of the group chairperson. With other group members, the group chairman has to be present at the center meeting on time at every meeting and will have to collect their signature in the attendance register. She will have to present orally loan proposals for a group member. She has to supervise loan utilization of concerned group members. In the center meeting, the group chairperson has to deposit the loan installments and savings of all the group members to the center chief. Responsibilities of the group secretary. In all aspects, the group secretary helps the group chairperson, and in the absence of the chairperson, group secretary performs the responsibility of the group chairperson. Responsibilities of a member are to attend the center meetings on time and then put her signature in the attendance register, deposit the individual installments and savings to the group chairperson, 
keep loan and savings pass books in her own care, ensure that the individual loan is utilized and loan accounts are kept, implement the 16 decisions in her own household. Let us talk about a group. All five members of a group will not get a loan at one time. You will get a loan in a staggered 2 2 1 format. Five of you together will decide which two members will get the loan first. She, who is the most helpless and needy among you, will get the loan before others. When you will learn to talk amongst yourselves freely, you'll feel more comfortable. However, at this time, goodbye for today. You can teach them how to sign their names. I am writing down names on blank pages. You will move your hand on this writing at home. Besides that, on the ground or whatever way, try to sign your names by moving your hands on these lines. What is your name? Each member starts saving five taka from the first day of the continuous meeting. The group chairperson and the secretary are regularly changed during this continuous meeting, giving them courage and creating leadership among the disadvantaged groups is another aim of this training. <laughs> My signature will never be the same as yours. That's why everyone must sign her name. If you can't sign your name, the manager will not give you money, simply on the basis of your thumb impressions. The training topics are discussed among the members. Understanding and cooperation within the group grow through these discussions. Aisha Begum is learning to write her name with a lot of patience, but she is very excited that she is learning how to write. This is the first time a landless woman learns to write. They are all happy and pl very pleased as they are able to write their own names. During the training, center manager helps the members to write their own names, visiting door to door. Each day of the continuous meeting, the center manager provides intensive training on how to start and finish the center meeting, as well as the other rules and regulations of this bank that belongs to the poor people. What are the responsibilities of the center chief? To ensure that all members attend the meetings on time, she must check the lines, check their initials in the attendance register, start and finish the meeting, submit written loan proposals from the members, These women are also determined to alleviate poverty from their families and improve their social conditions through unity. There are questions and doubts raised by some villagers about joining this group. Since they are neighbors, the members discuss amongst themselves regularly about the details of the training, even after a training session is over. On the fifth day, the branch manager also joins in the continuous meeting along with the center manager and examines the members on their lessons.
ठीक मतन कर You have learned pretty well. Initially you were scared, but now you have learned all about the procedures of the Grameen Bank. We are arranging for your group recognition. I shall accompany the program officer the day after tomorrow. Please tell the program officer whatever you have learned about the Grameen Bank and whatever questions you have just been asked by me. You don't have to be afraid of anything. In the meantime, the members have learned the basic lessons pretty well. The discipline of this group training will play a vital role in their personal and family life in the future. On the fifth day of training, the branch manager suggested that the center manager fill in the form one, since there has been satisfactory progress in group training. The center manager visits each house and fills in the form after his survey of the households. Form 1 is for becoming a member of the group. The center manager fills this form on behalf of the group members and takes their signatures. The form contains information about family and socioeconomic conditions of the member. The branch manager also checks the information by visiting homes door to door. Do you grow vegetables? You don't need a big plot of land to grow vegetables. You can start a kitchen garden right now. If you raise a pumpkin plant, it will very soon cover your whole roof. Sixteen decisions represent a revolutionary philosophy, a bold new way of life aiming at economic and social development of the poor. These are the stepping stones towards the social and economic emancipation of the poor. All group members are expected to learn these 16 decisions during their group training. Decision number one. We shall follow and advance the four principles of Grameen Bank. Discipline, unity, courage, and hard work in all walks of our lives. Decision number two. Prosperity we shall bring to our families. Decision number three. We shall not live in dilapidated houses. We shall repair our houses and work towards constructing new houses at the earliest. Decision number four. We shall grow vegetables all the year round. We shall eat plenty of them and sell the surplus. Decision number five. During the plantation seasons, we shall plant as many seedlings as possible. Decision number six. We shall plan to keep our families small. We shall minimize our expenditures and we shall look after our health. Decision number seven. We shall educate our children and ensure that we can earn to pay for their education. Decision number eight. 
we shall always keep our children and the environment clean. Decision number nine. We shall build and use proper latrines. Decision number ten. We shall boil water before drinking or use a lump to purify it. We shall use a pitcher filter to remove arsenic. Decision number 11. We shall not take any dowry at our son's weddings, nor shall we give any dowry at our daughter's weddings. We shall keep our center free from the curse of dowry. We shall not practice child marriage. Decision number 12. We shall not inflict any injustice on anyone, neither shall we allow anyone to do so. Decision number 13. We shall collectively undertake bigger investments for higher incomes. Decision number 14. We shall always be ready to help each other. If anyone is in difficulty, we shall all help him or her. Decision number 15. If we come to know of any breach of discipline in any center, we shall all go there and help restore discipline. Decision number 16. We shall take part in all social activities collectively. During the group training, the branch manager will meet the husbands, fathers, and other responsible persons belonging to the families of the group new members. In this meeting, the branch manager will provide them with basic information about the Grameen Bank. He will invite open discussion on any issue in case they have any confusions or questions about the activities of the Grameen Bank. Today is the day for formal group approval. The group will be approved by the program officer. There is great excitement and expectation among the members. They also have different questions regarding their future. A bank, this bank is absolutely for landless and assetless people who haven't received even a five taka loan from others until today. Most banks are for rich men. They borrow money by providing land and assets as collateral. But this bank is different because it doesn't give its money to rich people. The program officer will proceed to examine all papers relating to group formation. A new group will be recognized after the PO is satisfied that all five members of the new group have learnt their lessons well and the information about them has been recorded correctly. All right, just now you have made a new group. Now you will deposit your savings and will finally become a member. Then you will be able to receive loans. This group recognition was the long-awaited expectation of the new members of the Grameen Bank. This is the first time the members have passed an exam in their entire lives, overcoming all their apprehension. It is like a new journey has started with a great deal of hope. They are excited about their future. Having passed the group recognition test, they are convinced that they can begin a new adventure and build a better life.
During the seven day continuous meeting, every member has to deposit five taka per day. And with that amount, they have to open a regular savings account. After going through different steps, the groups are formed. Three more new groups have now joined the center in their common struggle to alleviate poverty. Three questions for students. Which issues are emphasized during group formation? How will you make sure that interested members are landless and assetless? For what reasons will a group not be recognized?